Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Face the Music. Glad that you're here today. Welcome, welcome. Super excited about today because today going to be doing a little bit different episode than I usually do. Now, if you remember a couple of episodes back, I did say that going forward, I was going to be doing some other ideas and, and bring some other developments to the channel. Um, the only other episodes that I can remember in recent memory that I've done that are not music related were the Larry Bird Ultimate Mixtape Reaction episode and the Magic Johnson uh, Ultimate Mixtape Reaction episode. I did that back, I think, in November, December time frame. So um, those are the only two that I can think of that were not music specific related. But I wanted to kind of bring out some other ideas and some other things to the channel. And some of it will be music related, okay, as today, as you can see down below the title of what we're actually talking about. Now, you might say, oh, okay, so we're going to be talking about who's better, Steve Perry or Nell Pineda. Why is this even a conversation? Well, I'm going to say there's a few reasons why. Now, here's the primary reason, okay? Um, recently, I had, you know, and if you look through my playlist, I actually have a few episodes of Journey that I've done over the last couple of years. Some featured Steve Perry, some featured Arnel Pineda. As far as I'm concerned, they all are fantastic. They're all very, very good. They're all great. Not necessarily the episode, but the songs, right? Okay. Um, so I really enjoy both, but I'm a reactor, and so the reaction, the reactor's responsibility, I guess you could say that way, is to give their opinion, okay? So if someone says, hey, check out this artist, check out this band, if I listen to them and I don't like them because it's a personal thing, I'm not going to be fake and say, oh, I just love that, and then like leave and go, geez, that was horrible. I'm not going to do that for you guys because that's not really what you guys should be about. You guys should be about getting honesty and I should be about giving that to you. Um, so that's what I mean. I, that's what I should be about, I should say. You know, I should be about give, making sure that you know you get honesty and that you you know receive a, a true reaction and a true, um, and true, and true thoughts, right? So, um, you know... Uh, you know, so that's, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that I'm very, you know, clear and succinct and, 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 and honest with you guys as far as I, um, you know, a lot of thoughts and ideas. Now, all the, again, the conversations come up about who's better, Steve Perry, Arnold Pineda. I don't have a problem with that conversation. Let me just say this first of all, because, you know, conversations like that take place in all kinds of arenas of life. You know, for example, if you look at the NFL, who's the greatest quarterback of all time in the NBA? You know, current players, you've got Steph Curry, you got Jokic, you got, you know, LeBron. Who's the greatest of all time? You know, was it those guys, anyone else? Was it Larry Bird? Was it Magic? Who, yeah. You know, so every generation, every era is going to have their own opinion, and I get it. Again, can be a healthy debate, can it be a healthy conversation at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be a big fight, but I have no problem with the conversation. So for those who say, you know, I don't really think it, it matters, you know. Um, you know, Journey did great with Steve Perry and other people, and now they've got Arnell, and he had kind of a, you know, he's got brought back a kind of a, if you could say, like a resurgence to the band, and they've, you know, done well over the past number of years. That's perfectly fine, too. But I still look at it, and I say, okay, but if you ask me specifically, personally, like, who do you prefer as the lead singer of the of the band, especially now that Arnell is covering a lot of, like, the previous Journey songs where Art and Steve Perry was the original lead singer, and it's no question for me, for a variety of reasons, that I like Steve Perry better. Now, you can agree, you can disagree. I get it, and if it's not your thing, hey, it's not your thing. I understand it. But if you look back over my uh, Journey episodes, and even just in the most recent one where I did Trial by Fire, I, I did the, the song Message of Love from Trial by Fire, 1996 release from the band, um, there's people on that, you know, comments that are made saying, hey, I really like Steve Perry. It doesn't matter anybody else, you know. And someone actually did mention that Arnell Car uh, Pineda is more of a karaoke singer. I, I'm going to take a little exception to that. I'm going to disagree with that very politely. Okay, I'm going to disagree with that because I, I understand that it's not got to, it's got to be very difficult to come in after someone as big. I mean, John Bon Jovi called Steve Perry the voice. I mean, when you have an accolade like that and you come in and you try to replace someone like that, and I don't even know if replace is the right word, but you're going to stand in their spot where they stood for years and years and sing the same songs. There's always, always, obviously, always going to be those people that are going to be comparing the two, okay? Um, so I understand that's going to be very difficult. I don't think that Arnell is a karaoke singer at all. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of the music and some of the albums that the band has released with Arnell in the lead position. But songs like I've released on this channel before, um, after all these years, that's a fantastic song. You know, I don't know how to, what it would have sounded like had Steve Perry done it, but it, he didn't do it. It wasn't around then. Arnell did it, and it is a great song. He's not a karaoke singer when it comes to that. Um, you know, uh, To Whom It May Concern from the album Eclipse. Okay, that's a great song. That whole album's great. But not a karaoke singer there. He is a definite, he's got a definite voice. He is definitely a great, great singer. But when it comes to um, how do I feel about him as the lead singer of Journey, and if I want to like think about the band as a whole over the years, who do I want to see as representative of the band in that spot? It will be Steve Perry. And a lot of people agree, a lot of people disagree. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. 
Um, but I think it's a conversation that's worth having, and it's it's fine. It's not an issue for me. I hope it's not an issue for you. It's part of my job as a reactor to kind of give you my personal opinion. I don't want to be fake. I want you guys to get the honest opinion of, from me on things. So I'm going to be telling you exactly what I think. But let's kind of go over some of the ideas, some of the reasons why I, you know, when I make the comparison between the two, <coughs> excuse me, why I do it, uh, you know, why I say what I say. So first of all, we, let's consider that uh, Journey has had more than two lead singers, okay? We always couch it and frame it in the, the, the framework of Steve Perry and Arnel Pineda. And that's fine because that's really, in my opinion, it's probably the two that have the most uh, survivable impact on the band. But you think about it, Greg Raleigh started off with the band way back in the day, okay? And then Robert Fleischman came along, and the two shared lead, lead vocals. Sometimes it would be Greg, sometimes it would be Robert, sometimes the two of them combined. And it was after Robert left that Steve Perry came on board. And Steve Perry was there from 19, uh, what was it, 1977 on through, off and on a little bit, uh, up to 1996 as the lead singer in that role, okay? Then once he was gone, then you had Steve or Jerry. Then you had Jeff Scott Soto. He was only there for, I think, less than a year, really. And then after he left, then Arnold Pineda and the rest is history. Okay, so really there's more than just the two, but in terms of the, the most impact, I really think that we're all in agreement that it's between Perry and Arnado. Okay, or Pineda, sorry. Now let's look at the albums that were released. Now, one thing I'm going to just kind of throw in here, there's going to be a lot of factors that people can come in and say, well, when you make these comparisons, you can throw this factor in there, you can throw that factor in there. I get it. I didn't sit here for like you know a couple of weeks and come up with all the factors that could ever be you know included in this uh, conversation, but just a few that I wanted to bring up. So when you think about all the albums that Steve Perry was a part of, as as far as uh, in the lead singer position with the band, you have Infinity, Evolution, Departure, Escape, Frontiers, Raised on Radio, and the 1996 album Trial by Fire. So that's what two, four, five, six. That's seven. Okay. Um, now, Pineda, he's been with the band now for, what, uh, seven, um, just about 17 years, 16, 17 years, I think. He was there with, starting in 2007. So if you count this year, I think it's 17. Um, and he's been, they've recorded three albums. Now, I'm not sure why, haven't really kept up with the whole, like, why they haven't produced more albums. Uh, it seems like they've been more successful, possibly, in the touring mode. But, again, if you have any ideas and thoughts on that, feel free to share those in the comments. But there's only been three albums since he's been on board with them that I'm aware of, and that's Revelation, Eclipse, which I have both of those great albums, by the way, and then their latest one, which was released, I think, in 22, maybe, that was Freedom, okay? Um, I haven't heard that one, but I do have, like I said, Revelation and Eclipse, really, really good albums uh, for sure. Now, let's talk about sales. Let's talk about sales in these albums, okay? So, and again, I'm try I try to, like, get these numbers from reputable sites, so if you have any numbers that show, like, they're a little bit more, they're a little bit less, who knows, but this is probably somewhere in the, at least, I'm going to say these are somewhere in the middle range, and I'm sure all these numbers are still increasing. Even as time goes by, more interest in the band comes, you know, people still, I'm sure, buying their albums and their songs. <clears throat> so, Infinity, okay, at least 3 million, if not 4 million in units sold, okay, these are, I'm talking units sold, Evolution, 3 million. Departure, 3 million. Escape and Frontiers, both of those back to back, at least over 10 million in units sold. Raised on Radio, now that kind of went down to 2 million, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but then Trial by Fire down, by, down to 1 million, okay? But those are the numbers that I come up with at least confirmed for those albums, and again, they could be possibly higher uh, based on, you know, again, the sites that you look at and what the information is that you get. Now, with Pineda, Revelation, at least a million units sold, if not more. And the Eclipse, 10,000, uh, if not more. I'm not sure about the numbers for Freedom because it just came out recently, and I don't think the numbers are out there uh, fully yet, of course. Now, greatest hits of the band. Now, this is, of course, all the, all the songs on there are featured are featuring Steve Perry. Um, 25 million units sold, and I'm sure still counting. And then Captured, which is one of their um, uh, live compilations, at least 2 million plus sold. And there may be some other albums I'm not even like including in here, but I'm just trying to put in the studio albums and then at least the greatest hits in one of the compilations. I think there may be more compilations. Um, okay, now, um, so we're going to look at next, uh, let me see, uh, these numbers here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to get over cold here, so I apologize for coughing. Um, but uh, let's see, uh, do, 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 Infinity, okay, so, so for the Journey album, so Infinity, Evolution, Departure, Escape, Frontiers, Race on Radio, Tribe of Fire. I said those were like seven. Okay. Um, you know, when you look at the place that they, they took in, in terms of the charts, okay? So Infinity, and this is, again, you know, the sites that I'm checking, they, they took the, they, they, they ranked in the 21st 
uh, spot on uh, on the chart rankings. Uh, that album did. And then Evolutions uh, chart it charted at number twenty. Departure charted at number eight. Escape charted at number one, um, which is not unusual because it sold so many um, copies. Frontier was charted at number two, which again, over both of those over ten million units sold. Raised on Radio charted at number four. So it didn't seem to sell as much, but I don't, I don't quite understand the, the disparity there. You know, four, it started at number four, but it seemed like it had uh, less soul. So, again, that number may be a little skewed. I'm not 100% clear on that. And then Trial by Fire, um, number three, and again, it sold less. But that album came out 10 years after Raised on Radio. So that's where the numbers are, at least, that I can see on those albums. Now, Revelation, Eclipse, and uh, Freedom by Journey with Arnell. Revelation charted at number five. Eclipse charted at number 13. Freedom charted at number 88, probably still climbing. It's been a pretty recent release, I would guess, in the last year or two, a couple of years. Okay, so, you know, those are just a couple of factors. Now, there's a lot of other things that you guys might bring to the table and say, well, have you considered this? Have you considered that? Have you... I'm just saying, you know, you might say, well, this was back in the 80s. There was a whole different music scene back then, and I get it, and I agree with you. Uh, again, I'm not 100% clear why Journey hasn't recorded more albums with Arnell, but it seems like they've done very, very well with touring. And um, so, and that's so that's fantastic. But again, you know, these are just some of the disparities I can like identify fairly quickly between the two, um, you know, uh, artists. But at the same time, you know, I look at when I look at Steve Perry, he has got just for me personally, he's got such a quality to his voice. He's got such a, a presence on stage. And I'm not saying that Arnell doesn't have a good voice and he doesn't have a presence on stage, but I just think that Steve Perry just had the whole package. Um, and there's just something about him that is just so authentic, so unique, something so real that if you're a Steve Perry fan, I know it's hard to put into words. Maybe you guys can put it in the comments how, how you feel and maybe there, you can like, express it better. Uh, again, I'm not going to take anything away from Arnell. In fact, uh, for those of you who are Arnell fans, even more than Steve Perry, okay, um, as I said before, I have the Revelation album. I have the Eclipse album. Um, great songs on both of those. Never Walk Away. Someone asked me, can you do that uh, reaction? I think I will, because that's a great song. I agree with you 100%. Uh, to Whom It May Concern from the Eclipse album, that's a great song. That's just really just, it shows Arnell's voice. Again, songs where Arnell is doing the original vocals. I've never heard Steve Perry doing them. I can't say that Steve Perry would do them any better. I'm not even going to go that route. I'm just going to say that Arnell does a great, great, great job with those songs on those original albums. Um, but again, if I'm going to say who do I feel does better on the original songs, again, I hear Steve Perry every time I hear R&L, just like I would with any other artist who, um, you know, was singing a song from a famous artist. Uh, and I kind of mentally compare what do I know from the original? What do I know from what do I get from this current version? And who would I prefer? And, and you know, every time it comes down, no matter how good R&L is, I prefer Steve Perry. So. Now, all of that set aside, let me just ask you guys, what do you think? Now, I know a lot of you are going to say exactly what I said at the beginning. First of all, a lot of you are going to be, I love Arnell. I love, you know, a lot of you are going to be, I love Steve Perry. And some of you are going to be like, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. This is a stupid conversation. Okay. And I'm not going to debate that with you. You know, you're fine. You're welcome. Every single group of, of that that I just mentioned, you guys are all welcome to your opinions. I'm giving you mine. So if mine matches up with yours, fantastic. If it doesn't, fantastic. I still hope you stay with the channel. I hope that you... Um, you know, still follow forward with the channel and all the music and all the artists that I bring to the channel. Um, but this is just one of those conversations that I kind of like to have. I like to have, you know, music conversations with people, with fans, with people who know what they're talking about. And uh, for those of you who really, you know, again, don't base your opinion of a singer based on, you know, where they're from. You know, Steve Perry, he was born of Portuguese descent. He wasn't born, he was born in the States, but he had Portuguese descent in his in his bloodline. Arnell may have been born in the Philippines, but I personally don't um, base any of my uh, thought processes or anything on whether someone's born in the States, born overseas, what their citizenship is. It doesn't really matter. My thought process is only what do I think of the song, of the music, of the artist that's presenting that song, and that's where I want to take it to. So I don't want anyone to think that, well, because you're you know, in the States and Steve Perry it has nothing to do with that whatsoever at all, just to clarify that. Um, but again... I'm going to give Arnell his due, and I'm going to bring him out to the channel because, you know, he's got some great music with the band, uh, for sure, and that's not to be disputed. But if I'm going to say who is my favorite Journey lead singer of all time, unfortunately, with the, the whole debacle, what happened after Trial by Fire was recorded, and the band had to leave without him, and he got injured, and whatever that whole thing was, and I'm sure there's different versions from both sides. At the end of the day, who knows what life could have been like? <coughs> Excuse me. Who knows? life could have been like for the band going forward 
had Steve Perry not you know been injured or had Steve Perry been able to go on with the band or had things been different no matter which way you look at it um, who knows you know uh, you know I mean, you can you can always dispute you know it would have been better it would have been worse it would have been the same who knows at this point though I'm just going to say for me personally again point of this uh, episode is to say I prefer Steve Perry I think that he is the best lead singer of Journey of all time and um, and that's where it stands again agree or disagree I hope you stay with the channel because I really appreciate you guys watching and following, and we'll have more debates and more discussions. I'm sure other topics going forward, but that's the way that this should be. It's, okay. it's a reaction channel. Opinions are voiced. You guys have the opportunity to put your opinions down below, and I do read each and every opinion, and they matter, okay? Because if you're going to take the time to watch my channel, I'm going to take the time to read what you have to say, okay? So hope you like that. Um, if you didn't, I apologize. I'm trying to like, get more development things out here on the channel just to kind of switch things up a little bit and make it a little bit more enjoyable for folks, kind of get folks more involved. And I hope that you um, can appreciate that and you see that as we go forward this year. Okay, well, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, if you don't mind, reach over, hit subscribe. Join this big family. Let's keep all the great music that we feature on this channel alive together. Also, you can check down below. There's a hashtag, Face the Music Reactions, or you can just simply go to my playlist, see all the other songs and all the other artists that, if you're not familiar with my channel, that I reference that I've done in the past, um, I'm sure you'll find a lot of other great artists and music and songs that you will enjoy as well. Come on back. I have a lot of other great stuff lined up for you guys right here on this channel, Face the Music. Take care.